Moonlight Nana. Hello everyone, I'm Moonlight Nana and this is my 11th Medibank Paint Pro tutorial video. Thank you for clicking on this video. I hope it can help you start off your first step in your digital art journey. In the previous tutorial video, I explained about the bucket tool. And uh, I touched also on undo and redo. For this Medibank Paint Pro tutorial video, I will explain about the gradient tool and touch a bit about the bucket tools tolerance function up here as well as the delete layer feature of the layer window. Let's get started. The ninth tool of the toolbar is the gradient tool, which is this one. Its function is to create gradients. Let's select this gradient tool and before we use the gradient tool, we must first select two different colors, which is for the foreground and the background color. Let's take a look at the color window up here, especially these two little boxes right over here. The box at the front shows the foreground color while the box at the back is the background color. You can interchange them by clicking on uh, the box like so. I'll select two colors. One would be yellow and the other be um, blue. Okay. <clears throat> And now let's try the gradient tool. I'll demonstrate this on a new layer to use the gradient tool. So I'll add a layer here and yes. <clears throat> to use the gradient tool, simply click on any part of the canvas and hold. Then drag the mouse towards the direction of your choice uh, and in a range that you like, whether it be short or long. And then uh, release the mouse when you've decided. And this is what a gradient looks like. It is a combination of two colors that blends in, uh, in the middle. All right. So uh, you can determine its direction like so, diagonally or at the side. And you can also determine its gradient density like this, or very short one, like so. Okay, so simple to do and easy to understand, right? If that's clear, we'll check out the function bar of the gradient tool. The first item is the type. Under it are three options, namely foreground, background, uh, foreground, background, foreground, transparent, and transparent, foreground. The first type, the foreground, background, has been tested out, which is the foreground color and the background color that makes the gradient, like you've just demonstrated here okay um, now we move on to the next type option which is the foreground transparent the way to use it is the same it's just that the difference is the background color is replaced by the transparent uh, by transparent let me demonstrate it on the canvas but now I don't want to use this layer anymore I want it gone if you decided to remove a layer from the layer window, simply click on this trash icon, which is uh, at the bottom corner of the layer window, down here. Click it and the layer is instantly gone. If you feel that you made a mistake deleting a layer, you can always undo your action, like so. But right now, I do want this layer gone, so I'll delete this. And then add a new layer. Um, also, I feel like I want the yellow to be the trans uh, to to be the foreground color. Okay, we're ready to test out the foreground transparent type of gradient. Let's recheck the foreground color here. I want it at yellow, and I'll set the gradient. And as you see on the screen right now, like so, the only color in the gradient is the yellow color instead of a gradient of yellow and blue like just now it now becomes yellow transparent this is the foreground transparent gradient type okay so i hope we're clear on this and if so then we can try out the third type which is the um, transparent foreground the transparent foreground works like the foreground transparent. The only difference is that the gradient starts from 
trans uh, from transparent then into the foreground color we selected this type and then I'll delete this layer again to make a new layer now we'll demonstrate it again now what you see on screen is that the gradient starts first with the transpa transparent then the yellow it's very different uh, it's a little different from the type before right just now the foreground color starts up here the yellow one starts up here but now the foreground has become uh, the one down here which is the yellow already moved down here and that's it for the types of gradient this one is transparent foreground and the other one was foreground transparent and we also have the foreground background which um, uh, is determined by the foreground color and the background color in the color window okay so there's the foreground background now moving on to the next item of the gradient tool uh, gradient tool function bar we have the shape item over here there are only two options uh, namely the linear and the circular the linear is already demonstrated earlier whereby the gradient is um, like so okay the blend of the foreground color and the background color are in a straight line so now let's try out the um, the circular shape the way to use it is the same just click and hold on any point on the canvas then drag and release now this is the circular shape of gradient tool the foreground color is the orb in the middle while the background color is the rest of the canvas let's use the circular gradient shape with a different uh, type now but first I'll delete this layer and add a new one <coughs> Okay, so I'll pick on the foreground transparent and let's try it out on the canvas. As you can see, the foreground color forms in the orb at the center of the canvas while the transparent is outside of it. Clear? Then I'll undo this and do the same on the canvas and this time is the transparent foreground type. We'll do again ah. now uh, it is the same as the foreground transparent only this time the transparent one is the one in the middle the orb in the middle while the uh, foreground color becomes the rest of the canvas that is the circular shape gradient so there you have it um, circular and linear gradient with different types of um, gradient you can now use the gradient tool to make attractive backgrounds of your digital art drawings and as for the rest of the items in the function bar of the gradient tool it actually doesn't do much really i can't select the snap grid and the reset has no effect and the move horizontal vertical also don't don't bring any changes relating to the gradient tool if you're clear about how to use the gradient tool and its function bar items i'd like to explain about the bucket tools tolerance function now okay we'll be filling in the colors on these horns now to fill the colors using the bucket tool remember that we simply need to click on the space or a color and then and the selected foreground color will be filled so i want to I'll pick on the blue, uh, probably the red is better. And then I'll click on here. As you can see, the color which um, was previously pinkish is now turned to red because I used the bucket tool to fill in the colors. <coughs> However, if I click to fill in the color in the left horn, then it becomes like this the color didn't completely fill in the left horn but only this um, little streak of color now why does this happen first of all we must understand that the bucket tools function is to fill in color in empty spaces or on solid color if we use the bucket tool to fill in a color with different color mixes like the gradient the bucket tool will fill in the solid 
color which it identifies only. Now take a look inside this left horn. There are many colors, color mixes between just the foreground color and the um, background color. The color up here is much different to the color that is down here. Up here is darker, down here is lighter. That is why when we use the bucket tool to fill in the colors, it becomes like this. This issue can be fixed by using the tolerance item of the bucket tools function up here. Right now, the tolerance level is at 1. I'll increase it to uh, 5. Let's oh, okay lah, 4. And then now we'll try to fill in the colors on the left hand again. Now let me just erase this streak of colors. And then we'll try to fill in with tolerance level um, around 4. I actually want it to be um, 5 but let's just roll with 4 then. Now, now that I've, I've filled in the color, you, you'd see that the color field has covered more spaces than it did before. Right? Just now was just a single streak of line and this time it's a little thicker like so. Let's undo this and then increase the tolerance level again to um, say uh, 10. Alright. And then I'll fill in the color again. Now the left horn is more filled than we used a lower level tolerance. So what can you deduce from this demonstration? Briefly put, the tolerance level helps to fill in color on the canvas with different mixes of color. When we, ret when we return the tolerance level to um, 1, the bucket tool will only fill in. Mm. The bucket tool will only fill in a solid color like this one. Alright? But as we increase the tolerance level, say this one to... Uh, for just now then what we get is a thicker line okay because the bucket tool now can fill more colors on several different mixes of color and that is how you increase the tolerance level level so that you can um, fill in more colors something like this Okay, so now I hope you understand the function of the tolerance item in the function bar, uh, bucket, uh, function bar of the bucket tool. Alright, so we're reaching the end of the Medibank Paint Pro tutorial video. I hope you know that how to apply the gradient tool and its function. I've also showed you what the tolerance item does when filling colors using the bucket tool. And I taught you how to delete layer which is the trash icon at the bottom corner of the layer down here okay that's it for today thank you for watching this tutorial video of medibank paint pro please like this video and subscribe to moonlight nana channel or follow me on facebook together we help each other out in our art journey have a blessed day ahead everyone